Hello everyone! I am incredibly excited to be announcing today's video because I am getting a new horse. For a while now, I have been thinking about adding a new addition to my family of horses, and I figure now is the right time for me. I'm looking for a horse that I'm going to have long term that can take me farther in eventing competitions. Although Autumn is a great horse and she has been learning quickly, I would like to be able to compete at my level again, and I'm not sure Autumn has the potential to take me as far as I'd like to go. I have four horses lined up to try out today, all at different barns, and I have around 10 minutes until we have to head out to Golden Hills Barn to try out our first prospect, and I have a bit of a bed ahead going on, so I'm going to get myself cleaned up, get some riding clothes on, and then we can head out. So let's get going. At this time, it was around 7 in the morning, and here I was just getting my gear ready, putting my boots on, getting my gloves, and popping my helmet on. After that, I went in and hopped in the van to visit our first prospect. Now, what led me to her is this ad, and it reads, Breaking Dawn, aka Blitz, is an off-the-track thoroughbred, sound with no issues, and can go in any direction. She's an excellent temperament, she's a quick learner, and is super smart. She has lots of energy and loves to work. She's great under the saddle. Blitz is being sold at the Golden Hills Valley Stables, which is a place I personally have a lot of ties to as I go to a lot of events there. So I do have a lot of trust in this barn and if I do decide to get Blitz, it will give me peace of mind knowing that the process going through with them will be trustworthy and I'm sure they'll help me along the way. She was there waiting in the stables once we arrived and I was happy to see she hadn't been tacked up yet. I always like to see how a horse reacts to being tacked up as it gives me a pointer to how girthy or how impatient they are and it gives me an overall clue about how good their ground manners are. Whilst I was tacking her up, I did notice she was very nice about giving me my personal space and she did have a little moment of impatience while I was tacking her up as she was pawing the ground, which I wasn't overly concerned about because that is a simple habit that we can break over time. Once we made our way down to the arena, right off the bat, I could tell she was a horse with a whole lot of energy. She had a very quick pace and was very forward in her trot and canter. At first, she had a really nice collected canter and I was like, wow, this feels really nice. But a little while after, she kind of just bumped up the pace into an extended canter, so I did some exercises to keep her collected, and that worked for the most part, but it was more like a give and take because she kept going back to that extended canter. So over here, uh, she was a bit distracted by the jump sets in the corner, and you know, there were a couple of moments where she was a bit spooky. It didn't feel like she had a lot of confidence in herself, which of course we could build. Um, other than that, she moved off my leg really nicely, and I could feel that she was working Working with me and listening which was really nice to see again here I had to circle her to keep her collected um, and right here I started doing some lead changes and by doing that I did some you know figure eights just to see how well she could change them and honestly she did really well actually she had really smooth lead changes um, both her legs were on the right lead and that was really nice to see she wasn't lazy at all or dragging her feet she picked them up really nicely and she was just putting in a hundred percent for me Another thing I love about this horse is that she is so athletic. You can tell she's in very good shape from being fresh off the racetrack. I gave her a big old pat because she did so good and she was listening and working with me. And then I asked her owners if I could take her around a bit of a cross country course. And they told me that they had a bit of a course that she'd been working on that I could try her out on. Once we set off, I noticed I had to really give her lots of encouragement and kind of catch her and be there to hold her hand throughout it because she was very hesitant and weirded out, kind of spooky at the jumps. Now, we started picking up pace around this curve a little too much because right at the bottom was a jump. So we picked up way too much speed, came out at such a weird angle and kind of chipped the jump. Here, I set her up completely wrong, which ultimately led her to stopping, and I nearly fell off. Somehow, I managed to stay on, so I kind of cooled her out and um, set her back up and turned her around, 
and we did it over again and I encouraged her, gave her the right striding and we jumped it and it was the best jump of the entire course I think. So we picked back up our pace and kind of kind of chipped this jump as well. It was fine, nothing to be too excited over. And that was the end of the course. So Blitz has a lot of potential. Now the thing that would be a downside to her is she is more of a project, which isn't really what I was looking for. I want a horse that's kind of been there, done that, and Blitz has a lot of confidence to build, habits to break, and learning to do overall. I'm going to have to decide if starting from square one will be worth it to have her. I left the Golden Leaf area with loads to consider and think about, and keep in mind, I still had three horses to consider at the time, so it was a lot for my brain. And here I headed off to the next stables I'd be going to, which is the prestigious Jorvik Stables, which is known for breeding very quality horses. The next horse I'd be looking at is a beautiful Irish sport horse called Catch Me Not aka Picasso. This horse is incredibly well versed in the world of eventing as he not only has 6 months of professional training on him but he's won a multitude of competitions here on Jorvik. He was also born and raised at Jorvik stables so I trust he is well mannered. Now the only drawback is he is way out of my budget, nonetheless I wanted to try him out just in case he is my dream horse. Now here he is in all his glory. Picasso has a stunning conformation and a beautifully built body with a nice long neck and strong legs. Jorvik Stables always breeds the most quality horses and I wouldn't expect anything less from them. To say I was excited to try this horse would be an understatement. When I was tacking him up, he stood like an absolute dream and waited so patiently for me to tack him up. He also didn't fuss when I had to tighten his girth, and he was such a good boy. He is in very good shape, so I was able to warm him up quickly. Picasso knew he had a job, and he was serious about it. His gates were absolutely amazing, and he felt so floaty. His strides were very long, and his gates were collected. He goes on the bit just really nicely as well. And he held his head quite low and was just very collected again. He is just such a dream and not stubborn whatsoever. He was very, very compliant with what I was asking him to do. This horse truly has no vices. Um, while I was riding him, I was thinking that he would be really good for clinics as a horse that can set an example and show my lesson students in the program how to do things because he does everything so beautifully and he's the type of horse that would really take care of his rider and i'm thinking he would definitely be a top competitor in the show ring and dressage and for cross country and show jumping and just everything in general which is kind of exactly what i'm looking for right now Although there is no cross country course here, we were able to pop him over a few jumps. And oh my goodness, he absolutely flew over the jumps. Watching back these clips, he has an absolutely amazing form. He kept his hoofs picked up and as soon as he landed, he would have the same pace as he did before the jumps. Also, his strides were really nice beforehand. He definitely had a lot of confidence coming up to those jumps, so I didn't really need to give him any encouragement. Hey guys, it's future me. So I just want to let everyone know I was able to speak with the owner of Jorvik Stables, Judy, and I spoke with her about the price of Picasso and if she would consider negotiating it and she told me she was firm on the price as she had multiple other people interested in him but she also mentioned that she would love if he went to me because she knows she would be able to visit him and I would give him a good home and help him progress in his career which is something to think about. After that, I went to the next location, which was at Marley's farm. If you've seen my riding story video, you know this was the first place I started riding at on a little pony named Angel. Marley isn't actually the owner of the barn anymore, and I haven't been here for ages. So once I got there, I was so surprised to see how much it has changed. And not exactly for the better. Especially after being on one of the most well-kept stables in Jorvik, it was a bit odd to see Marley's farm in such a state. All I could smell was ammonia and manure. 
Alfie was said to have been trained in hunter's jumping, but would be good to go in any direction. If you want to read the entire ad, just pause the video. I'll give you guys some time to do that. Anyways, Alfie was actually all tacked up, which was a bit of a bummer for me because, as you know, I do appreciate it when I'm able to see how they are when I tack them up. But unfortunately, I didn't get to do that with Alfie, so we immediately got to go out to the ring. I would have liked to jump him in their arena, but it was pretty mucky out. I had to ride him lightly because the footing was not the best, and... With him, I had to give him a lot of leg to get him going into a trot. Like, this was a full-on leg workout. His trot and canter were easy going and almost lazy. He seemed very much like a western horse to me, as his canter was more of a slow lope, which would make sense as they did mention in the ad that he had been ridden both ways and sometimes it can be tricky for a horse to adjust to two different ways of riding. When we did go into the canner, he picked up the wrong lead, so I had to break him down and then push him into the canner again, which wasn't easy at all. I had to put a lot of excitement in me so he could feel my energy, and once we got moving on the right lead, he did have a really nice canner. And he did give me a good amount of effort here. He felt like the horse I would trust with some of my beginner lesson kids to gain their confidence on, as he was just very gentle and sweet. He just definitely didn't feel like an eventing prospect as he was very chill and I didn't feel like he had a lot of energy in him. I think he would really excel in hunter's jumping and maybe being um, part of the lesson program for my beginners. I would definitely trust him with my lesson kids but I'm not looking for a horse for the lesson program and I'm not looking for a hunter's jumper. I'm looking for a personal horse that can take me farther in eventing and I don't really see that from him. Another problem I have with him is the sellers. They just seemed a little off-putting and I didn't love how the facility looked when I got there. Everything just seemed mucky and smelly and they weren't the friendliest of people either. I don't want to make any snap judgments, but that's just kind of what I got from the short while of being here. So, in my mind at the time, I had already kind of eliminated him from the running. But, I'm going to try to keep an open mind, so I still want to consider him, but he's definitely not my top pick. Overall, he's a really sweet and gentle horse that I think is just such a good boy, but I'm not sure if he's exactly right for me. Our final destination was Moreland's quaint little stables. I absolutely love it in this area. It's just so homey and I could honestly see myself living here when I get older. But anyways, onto the horse I was trying. This gelding's name is Buggy and apparently he had been ridden in Western but now he goes English. He's said to be athletic and have a good work ethic with good ground manners. They also wrote that he would fit an intermediate to experienced rider that would take him farther in his career, which is just the type of horse I'm looking for. I was able to get him from his stall and he has the most beautiful build. He is a Bay Tobiano so he is striking and definitely would be an attention grabber. As soon as we were tacked up, we were in the arena, and he has the stereotypical gelding personality, meaning he was friendly and laid back, and I absolutely adored this horse already. It didn't take very long for him to warm up, as he had been worked nicely, and he's very fit. He was very enthusiastic and energetic the entire time, and I could tell he had a constructive upbringing. I was so satisfied to see that he was trying his best and putting 100% effort in. Buggy has very smooth downward and upward transitions, and he was remarkably easygoing the entire time I was riding him. I also asked his owners if I could possibly take him over a few jumps or go on one of their cross-country trails, and they told me I could take him for a shorter round on one of their courses. I was very glad because this gives me a good opportunity to tell what he will really be like on the course. When we got on the course, he already had so much more confidence in his body than Blitz had. He also has a lot more training under his belt. This jump was so smooth and pretty, and we came up to this jump with proper striding. It was really nice. This, we just chipped in at such an odd angle, but we definitely rebounded with this jump. And we had a bit of a gallop along the beach on the way home. And to our final jump, which also was really smooth and pretty. I was really happy with that. So I slowed him down, 
cooled him off a bit and thought about my choices. Woo! So I've just gotten back to the barn and that left me with a whole lot to think about and consider. Go ahead and leave a comment on which horse you think I should buy. I definitely need your guys' info and opinions. And the next video I put out will reveal which horse I bought. I'm super grateful for the opportunity to try all these lovely horses. It really was quite a thrilling, fun-filled day. Well, that's really going to wrap it up for this week's video. As always, make sure to give this video a like and subscribe. Stay tuned for the next video of mine where I do the big reveal of what horse I'm going to get. Thank you all so much for watching. I will see you all next week. Bye! With you, I can be sad with you. Just take my hand and fly up through the dreams where the skies are. I wanna stay with you